This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. Today I'm doing a consumer RV review of the 2020 Grand Design Imagine XLS 22RBE. Again, my name is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I do travel, photography, and once in a great while I do an RV review. Here are the basic uh, dimensions of stuff. Uh, this has an unloaded vehicle weight uh, rating of uh, under 5,000 pounds. Fresh water capacity of 43 gallons and has a full size residential queen bed. You can't complain about that. Two adults can comfortably sleep in this bed and uh, do what they got to do, okay? Talking about the queen bed, that's up front. Again, it's a full size queen bed. And in the back, you got your bathroom. And then what I really like about this unit is that you can sit there in the dinette area or the little lounge area right there you have two options and straight ahead what's straight ahead it's the television i love watching television some of you say hey get over it garza and look at all those drawers you get a, a bank of six drawers here's some photos that i took from the website because this unit was sold when i walked into the uh, dealership they're about to tow it away the dealer said hey you can take some pictures but don't bug us too long okay so I walked in and started taking some pictures with my camera. I set it on HD instead of the usual 4K because in HD it's a little bit wider in my camera, which is weird. And then in 4K it narrows it down a bit. So I needed all the wideness I can get. There's the uh, modest little pizza oven. I call it the pizza oven because it's not very tall. It's not a, you can not put a turkey in there. <laughs> like in the Rockwoods or in the Flagstaff. So you can put a pizza in there and some cookies and maybe some chicken wings and call it good, huh? There's a refrigerator, there's the AC unit, the vents, the speakers, and uh, they have that banding there, very classy. Of course, the folks at Grand Design are excellent at design. There's a ceramic foot flush toilet, wow, very nice, and you get this beautiful shower and all the stuff you'll ever need in there to take a nice little shower. And of course, you have a skylight, wow. There's a shower wand, and they give you a, a metal plasticky looking thing, but it works. You can always replace that with uh, something uh, of an upgrade, a nicer unit, something that uh, will save you a little bit of water. And again, another view of that beautiful ceramic toilet. Very nice. And of course, you have your own window here and beautiful window balances. Up there is a cheesy little fan. You can always upgrade that to a Max Air or a fantastic fan. Why not? I wouldn't do that. There's a shot of the you know, medicine you know, cabinet where you can hide your stuff. And they, they actually have a stainless steel wash basin. That's definitely an upgrade over plastic. And they have plenty of drawers in this unit. This drawer on the right is quite ambitious. It can hold a lot of stuff. You can put your, the woman's uh, uh, and men's uh, stuff in there. And you can, uh, or the children's or grandchildren, you can put all your stuff in there, can't you? And down here, you can put a wastebasket, all your chemicals, extra toilet paper, etc., etc. It's a great little space, and it's wide open there. No uh, unusual little, uh, you know, cables or uh, piping out there. And again, there's a nice shot of that stainless steel uh, basin. There's your controls for your uh, lamps. And let's take, go back and check out the refrigerator here. This looks like a six cubic foot uh, refrigerator. Looks pretty small. That's a good size, six or eight. Uh, I'd be happy with either of those. So that has a, it has a nice little stainless steel finish on the outside. I like that look. I don't like the wooden look. I don't like the black look. I like the stainless steel look. Call me shallow, but I like stainless steel. And here's uh, the TV. And again, when you sit on those chairs, you have a perfect view of the TV. I like to, uh, you know, watch TV personally. I like to watch TV when, I'm, you know, when it's raining or when I'm tired late at night. I like to watch a little TV. It puts me to sleep and watch a couple hours, even when I'm camping, okay? So it has six drawers right here. All of them are have a plywood box construction, and uh, there's, you know, little puny nails, little pin nails there, and solid wood fronts. And it has this uh, dark, you know, wooden tone that's, you know, essentially one of... Uh, it, yeah, Grand Designs calling cards. They always like to use this dark wood. And you have a three burner cooktop. 
in this puny little oven. I mean, seriously puny. After looking at the Rockwoods and the Flagstaff ovens with their, you know, the 20-inch, uh, you know, ovens, this thing is puny. You can barely put a pizza in there. Maybe some chicken wings. Uh, you can toast some bread in there, but it's not, it's not much of an oven, to be honest with you. But at least they put a little mirror there so you can see what's going on, and it's not much is going on, actually. So that's a great little pots and pans drawer. Fabulous. You can put a lot of stuff there. And again, the kitchen is A+, plus except for the oven. I can't. That oven is mediocre at best. So we have plenty of storage here. And uh, they have this little open area. My wife said, I can put a towel there. My wife really, really liked this unit. And she really loved it. And it's a little stainless steel basin. And it has this, uh, you know, nice little faucet also to go with it. The countertops are sealed membrane, definitely a step above a T mold, you know, a step down from a solid surface. You have plenty of connections all over the, this uh, travel trailer to plug in devices. And I love the storage, I love the cabinetry, I love even the uh, windows that they have for these units. That bangs against there slightly, and there's your little Jensen head unit. It'll work, it's not the best thing in the world, but it works. And there's more storage above there, perfect. You could put quite a few things in this uh, trout trailer. And I do like the chrome microwave, this 0 0.9, I think it's 0 0.9 cubic feet uh, microwave. So what do you think? Do you like this uh, travel trailer? My wife and I have this uh, currently at the top of our list. Again, the slide is in and they have this little area here where you can have the massage. And I told my wife, this does not give you a, you know, a lot of massage. It's basically a little machine that just rumbles slightly and gives you a little tingle and that's about it large window right there let's go into the uh into the bedroom it has a full-size queen bed and again one of the calling cards again you know the choice of materials fabrics uh, you know it's very dark inside a grand design and also but the walls are a little brighter and i love the textures and material choices uh, used by grand design even the bed cover Right there you have a little area down there where you can plug in things. That's the same on both sides. AC receptacles and USB receptacles. And a little drawer here where you can put your stuff. You know, whatever you need in the middle of the night, you can just grab it there. And a nice little closet to put your shirts and your jackets. And right above it, more storage. What are you going to put up there? I don't know. It's all up to you. And I really, really love this uh, travel trailer. You have little lamps. And... Uh, a little cute headboard not <laughs> so in case you bang your head you can have you, <laughs> you leave a mark on the wall huh? nice uh, windows on both sides storage on both sides what's not to like in this unit I really like it let's go outside there's a salesman from McLean's RV Supercenter in Fort Worth uh, in the red shirt he's gonna take a picture of the guy that bought the unit that lucky guy, I guess I'm totally, totally, utterly jealous. I love this unit. I really do. It's, up at, it's currently at the absolute top of my list for a travel trailer. It meets all my criterion of what I want. They put a bunch of goop on these tires. I don't know why. It's not a show car. It's not going to, uh, you know, some car show. It's just, it's going to go outdoors. It's going to get dirty. Why not? I guess that's my uh, idea. There's some plugs there. Uh, you know, receptacles and the area where you can put the uh, connect a hose. Let me back up. Again, uh, that's a shiny tire. I don't know why you would do that. It's like putting perfume on a, on a mule. You know, those tires don't need all that shine. There's a ladder to the roof where you can do uh, check your seals and make sure everything's okay. And you have a provision there where you can uh, stick a, a backup camera, an observation camera. Perfect. And of course, this unit is a 30 amp travel trailer and in the bumper you can stinky you know you can put your stinky slinky <laughs> that's what I call it the stinky slinky and there's a I'm panning to the left here and then eventually I'm gonna go to the right and there's the uh, terminations uh, for the uh, tanks for the gray and the black There's the stabilizer jacks, and to the left there is the uh, terminations, and they're enclosed, which is a positive. So you, go, you can do a three-season RVing in this as long as the third season is, and where it's uh, you know ten below zero. 
And they have a modest suspension system, nothing great, no Torflex, not some uh, higher end suspension units. Just basic stuff. And that's where you can connect uh, you know, right to the left a solar suitcase. Let me open this up. This is one of the selling points of this unit. You have this, uh, you know, where you connect the water, outside shower. You can uh, turn off your batteries right there. And it, God, that's very nice. It has the, you know, modest, uh, doesn't have the better plywood. It has that beaver puke right there, but that's okay. You know, I can't complain about that. So I'm backing up so you can get a nice little wide shot of this uh, Grand Design Imagine XLS 22 RBE, a fabulous uh, little travel trailer. And I really, really like it. Uh, it has the uh, slide out on the awning side. So when you pull out the awning, it also protects the slide out. I think it's a, you know, a nice idea. Personally, some people say, hey, well, isn't that eating up your little area there where you're hanging out? Well, I my wife and I typically hanging out. We're not going to have, uh, you know, 50 people there. So this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. I do travel, photography, and once in a while I do an RV review. And yes, very soon I'll be buying a travel trailer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And again, what do you think of my video? What do you think of this unit? Uh, I would love to hear what you have to say. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.